Hi guys and welcome to the channel, my name is Nick O'Leary. Now today we're covering cruise control and speed limiter on your Mercedes-Benz. Now this was actually a topic suggested in the YouTube comment section. So if you have your own suggestion of what you would like to see, do head down below and pop a comment in the comment section and I may just consider your suggestion. But onwards with today's topic, cruise control and speed limiter. So cruise control and speed limiter. Now, some of you may already know how this works. So if you do, stick around to the end and we'll explain a couple of tips on how to get the most out of this system. So where is cruise control and speed limiter located? Well, this does depend on your model of Mercedes-Benz, but you can narrow it down to one of two places. So first up, it can be under your indicator stalk on the left-hand side of the steering wheel and have its own separate stalk. You can move this up and down, in and out, and there's also a button on the end as well. Now, if you have a modern Mercedes-Benz, this stalk won't exist. You'll actually find that the cruise control and speed limiter will be on the right-hand side of the steering wheel, of course, if it's right-hand drive. If you're left-hand drive and the steering wheel's on the left-hand side, then you'll find that the cruise control and speed limiter will be on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. Now, as I'm based in the UK, the cruise control and speed limiter will be on the right-hand side. That's what we'll cover now, and we'll explain how it works. So then, guys, using these two systems in the car is really, really easy. And quite simply, it's just these three buttons along here on the steering wheel. So they're actually laid out in a certain way so that you choose what you want first with the far left one. You turn it on and set your designated speed, and then you can cancel it with the right one. So laid out in a very, very nice, easy way. Choose what you would like, turn it on, and then turn it off. So really, really easy. So let's try it out on the road. So I'm in the EQC at the moment. So let's go down here. And this road here is a 30 mile per hour road. So I'm going to set the cruise control to 30 miles an hour. Then we'll, uh, we'll adjust it slightly because there's a 40 mile per hour bit up there. So away we go. So I'm going to accelerate up to about 30 miles an hour. So there we go. So I'm gonna set the cruise control. So I'm gonna select first, I want the cruise control, so I'm gonna select that up, and then I'm gonna set it at 30. So that is now set at 30 miles an hour, and that's on. So I can take my foot off the accelerator pedal, and it's going to stay at the same speed. And what's really, really good in Mercedes-Benz cars is that if you go up a hill or down a hill, it will keep you at that same speed. The only difference here, as this isn't the driving assistance package, it doesn't have active distance uh, assist, Distronic, so you will obviously need to put your foot on the brake pedal if um, the road conditions change, if someone's in front of you, or you approach a roundabout or something, or a turn, so as you, um, as you use this system, it's going to keep you at that same speed, but obviously do keep an eye out what's in front of you. Now, there's a cancel button just after this, so obviously I said to the three buttons, you choose what you want, adjust your speed and then there's a council button so if you press the council button or put your foot on the brake pedal it's going to turn it off straight away just like that now here's a 40 so i'm going to set this back to 30 again so i'm going to switch that on at 30 but this time i want to increase the speed so i'm going to use the set button in the middle and push that all the way up to 40 and without me even accelerating or anything like that the car is going to accelerate by itself to 40 miles an hour because that's what I set it at. So really, really easy, takes the strain off those long dual carriageway or motorway journeys, just to help with driving really. So then guys, now on to speed limiter. So what's the difference between speed limiter and cruise control? Well, basically the difference here, cruise control keeps you at that same speed and you can take your foot off the pedal, uh, but of course you need to put your foot on the brake pedal to uh, cancel the system or anything like that. Now speed limiter, uh, still requires you to use the pedals, but it actually won't let you go above a certain speed. So I'm doing um, 32 at the moment, but this speed uh, limit for the road is actually 40. So let's set this to LIM using that far left button and then go to set. And I'm going to set this to 40. Now, 
I'm currently doing 32, so let's nudge that up to 40, and I'm going to accelerate fairly hard, and then it just kind of levels off. It won't let me go above that 40. Now, here's a very, very good example. Here's a 30. So I'm going to keep my foot on the accelerator, but this time I'm going to nudge that down to 30. And look, we've started braking even though my foot's on the accelerator pedal, so it won't let you go above a certain speed. So this is really, really useful, especially for those like uh, average speed cameras or uh, say you just wanted to regain like full control of the car like when you're driving. So I know some people don't like to use cruise control too much because our roads can sometimes be a little bit busy in the UK so you can use the speed limiter and you still drive I'm still driving using the pedals but it just won't let you go above a certain speed now of course if you press the pedal hard enough it's going to override that uh, just for safety in case you need to overtake someone or something like that or get out of the way of trouble um, but yeah all that systems there to help with just making that driving just a little bit easier now I did say I'd cover the resume mode so I'm going to cancel this using the far right button, the CNCL button, and cancel that. Basically, there's a roundabout up here, and of course, I wouldn't want to use cruise control or limiter going around that. Uh, so I'm going to set this to cruise control, ready for when I come back this way. I can see it's already remembered my last speed that I just did a second ago on 30. So when I go round this roundabout, um, instead of accelerating up to 30 and then setting it, I'm going to just instantly hit resume and the car will just resume that last speed and accelerate to 30 which it was set at. So let's get round this roundabout first. So here we go, I'm just going to hit resume and the car will resume and go back to 30 because that's what I last used. Difference here is uh, with the set button, you have to get to that speed using the pedals and then you set it. With resume, it's gonna resume the last speed, which I obviously had was 30. Now there is also a hidden feature on this that not many people know about. And if you look really closely on that resume button, it says res and then there's a forward slash and there's like a post with a, with a sign. Now, what this will do is actually copy the data that the car has seen or has in its system. So for example, see it says 30 here on the dashboard. It knows that this road that I'm on right now is 30. Now, this car has a traffic sign assist. So as I drive past any speed limit signs or anything like that, uh, just around the corner here, there's a 40. Um, this will actually change to 40. So as soon as I go past those signs, what I will do is press resume twice and that's going to copy what the sign is and instead of going to 30 it will go to the 40 so here's the signs press that twice and that's going to resume to 40 so pretty clever eh and there we go guys that concludes this week's video on cruise control and speed limiter on your mercedes-benz if you liked what you saw don't forget that like button down below and do hit that subscribe button but you guys know what time the videos come out it's every friday at 4 p.m thanks again for watching see you very soon